means you're finishing your last unit in either semester one or winter. Um, the graduation office have let us know that the cutoff date is the 11th of August. Um, they do uh, have students that they can get into the ceremony in exceptional circumstances beyond that point, um, which would require you coming to see Cathy or myself. Um, but the 11th of August is when they've advised that you have everything finalised so that you don't miss out on participating in that October graduation, um, where your award also gets conferred. In time for, yeah, so definitely the first thing um, that I'm sure a lot of you have already done is setting your completion period to the middle of the year, so mid-2017. If you haven't, you can do that in my UC. Um, there's a section that you can set your completion date um, or completion period, which is mid-2017. Now, I would highly recommend doing that. If you feel that um, when you're finished, you haven't, the first thing that will happen once you have been assessed, the graduation office assess you before your final results are even released. So they will send you an email telling you that you're um, approved um, conditionally to graduate based on passing your final units. Um, once the final units are in, um, they will then course complete you and you receive a course completion letter to your student email account. When you get that course completion letter, it means that you're also completed on your transcript. If you do not have the completion letter, you are not completed on your transcript and providing TQI, your non-complete transcript is not going to help you in your registration. So it has to be completed or you should be providing a completion letter to them anyway. Um, so yeah, make sure that your completion date um, is set, whether it's the mid or end of year, which is how the graduation office will pick you up for assessment. If you feel you haven't been contacted by the graduation office and you're concerned, you can email graduation, just that email that's on the slide, asking them to be assessed. Now, if anything goes wrong and you receive an email from graduation saying you've been rejected um, and you feel that's not right because you um, have met the course requirement, requirements to complete, please either email us or what you can do is ask them to reassess you. Now, often um, it may be that you were in a complex case that actually needed to be referred to the faculty or there was a grade outstanding so they rejected you, so a few variables like that. But you can always ask to be reassessed or contact us if there's any other issues. Um, but yeah, August the 11th for anyone wanting to complete in the October graduations, for the graduations that will be in April 2018, um, if you're planning to complete at the end of this year, um, they usually, they haven't put the cut, up, cut off up yet, but it's usually around the middle to late January. So there's a lot more time with that round than there is um, with the October round, because um, they're trying to get everyone in who's completing winter. It's a very quick turnaround for them. Um, but the 11th of August is the date to keep in mind. Yep. Does anyone have any questions on that point? Well, that covers everything. But yeah, as I said, the main thing with your registration, if you don't have a completion letter, it means your transcript isn't completed. Um, and providing a transcript that isn't completed to TQI, I wouldn't advise it because your registration will just get knocked back. No, the ceremonies are always in October, September, October or April and March, but they need all of your results finalised by August 11th, yeah. Yeah, in time to get you in the booklet and print all your documents so you can graduate in that ceremony. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But if you do have any questions around graduation, um, they're more than happy to help you out um, emailing the graduation office um, or otherwise just get in contact with Cathy or myself. Yeah. Yeah, so firstly you get given a completion letter um, to your student email account which pretty much details the course that you completed in that you've met the course requirements. Um, that is another important thing to note. You don't get given a transcript free of charge until the point that you walk across that stage where you get your test armour and your transcript. So it does mean that if you want a transcript in that interim period, you can go and order one from the Student Centre. You do get charged $15 for a hard copy, but if you simply want an electronic copy, they can send one free of charge directly to the, um, whether it's the accrediting body or a higher education institute, but they cannot 
provide you with an electronic copy because it loses all of its um, value in terms of security purposes. Um, so if you don't want to pay for one and you're happy to wait till grad but you just need one to go to TQI, email um, either graduation or transcripts at Canberra um, and they can send one on your behalf. If you, course completion letter, if it, they, they'll accept either, in my experience with students, they will accept either. Most of the time I would suggest the course completion letter is the easiest for yourself. Um, if you actually go onto their website for when you go and register and you go through the steps, it lists all the documentation you need to provide. So there is other documentation other than just proof of completion. Um, there are things like um, identification and um, things like that that they ask for. So there's a list of documentation. They need a certain amount of points in terms of that identification, all of that standard sort of stuff. But from the university's end, it's a completion letter or a completed transcript. Um, but yeah, start with the completion letter because it's a much easier option. Yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's good. Thank you, Rosie. And just also remember that that email request you have to, they won't, e the university won't email it to you to email it on. It actually just has to be straight to the registering body, the accrediting body. So you have to put, get that email contact and give that and to point, UC. Um, just to note that if you are registering, if you tell them to, uh, if you request for it to be sent to TQI, we will assume that's the TQI within our jurisdiction, jurisdiction yep. in ACT. So if you're registering somewhere else, please identify that because otherwise what we'll do is send it to the ACT um, registering body and you may assume you're trying to register in New South Wales and they're telling you they don't have the document but we have just assumed it based on our jurisdiction. Yeah, okay. they have to be clear. So this is about clarity um, and really honing in on what you need to do. So the we list. Have to, firstly, we have to wait till we pass all these. Oh, yeah. Final yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. then, then you go, then you can go through the processes. So it's about, if you, I mean, you can, yeah, it's a, I, I'd like to, I, I like the idea that you might be aware of what the processes are before you get to, you know, finishing, submitting all your final assignments and then getting into a, you know, going straight on to your last prac and there's a lot to do. So taking a few minutes to actually familiarise yourself with the processes um, will be pay dividends and it pays dividends particularly if anything untoward happens. You get injured, sick, uh, placement doesn't go so well, all those things that we know can happen, we don't want to happen, but are distinct, po they're possibilities. We always so hope that the transition from the bad leaning into the team to register with the accrediting body is quite smooth. Yeah. But as I said, the primary support, one of the other things we did get through yeah. with two separate organisations, <coughs> we like to think we talk to one another and we know what they want sometimes. <laughs> that doesn't always happen and there yeah. are sort of people who will come back and say, no, we want a transcript this time and we yeah. want a course complete letter, it's fine. So, just keeping that in mind can give yourself plenty of time, but we're always here to support, and that current process I've told you is the up-to-date process that said we're here to support. So um, follow that and you'll be all fine in that transition and registering mm. before you need to always wait. And remember that registration bodies do change over time, and TQI is re relatively new. Yeah. To you know, New South Wales has changed their name a couple of times since I've been aware of them. Um, and they will continue to change. And so you need to keep up to date with the current processes and that's by going to their website and seeing what they need at that time. Yeah. You, you were saying that cut off is 4th of January? No, so um, for the, um, if you're graduating at the end of the year for the April next year ceremony, yep. they usually will publish the um, cut off as about mid-January. Um, so they haven't actually put it up yet, but I would, any sort of finalising of different results and stuff, aim to mid yeah, and, and I've and I've put for PRAC reports um, the 4th of December so because I mean you will have finished your PRAC by then not a lot of teaching goes on beyond December uh, into December in schools and for your assessment as a teacher you need to be properly teaching so and most of your placements together. will be done by then. Everyone I've invited for today's session um, I will I will be working all the way up until the military shuts down on about the 23rd of December and I would that I have gone through and that all of you are comfortable to complete with in your award before we close down for the year. So um, if anyone isn't, I'll be contacting them just to see whether we're up to, whether it's the track report or we've yeah. got um, it from our end, but we're taking too long and then getting a final result. Anything
Yeah, Rosie raises a very good point about stand down Christmas time when time staff are on leave. I'll be on leave from the 15th of December, not that I've put my application in, but I will be. Um, David? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it is important if you're going to, if you want to talk to me, um, copy Rosie in or a STEM PD support because that's Shane as well. And we will um, manage the situations as they arise with the appropriate people, whoever's on deck with the knowledge that, you know, with all the knowledge that we have. So we have access to lots of information, um, but it needs a timely uh, inquiry from you with as much information from you as possible from your student email account. So we've got your student number and we know we're communicating with you and all that sort of stuff. So it is about that tightness towards the end of communication. Um, Every 